Hey everyone, today we're going to look at how to embed a PowerPoint presentation into Canvas. A Canvas page, an announcement, it could be a quiz or an assignment or even a discussion thread. The principle is the same. There are various ways to get PowerPoint into Canvas. For example, you could upload the file into the Files menu. You can share a link or even attach the file onto a page, an announcement, or an email. But what we're exploring today is specifically how to embed a slideshow onto a page. In order to do this, you have to have access to both PowerPoint and OneDrive. Now the principle will work the same if you're using Google Documents as well. And what embedding a PowerPoint will do is allow you to have a page with the slides and you can navigate the slideshow. To get started, open up PowerPoint on your OneDrive account. Now you'll note that you only have the access to the embed code specifically on OneDrive, so it won't work on the desktop application. On desktop, you can share and you can specify people within your organization or specific people that you give access to. That's not what we're looking for. We don't want to get a copy link. We actually want to get embed code. And to do this, I'm going to head over to file and I'm going to click share. And here I have the option to embed the presentation onto my web page, which in this case, it will be canvas. I'm going to select the dimensions that I want, 350 by 221. That's going to be pretty small for a PowerPoint presentation, to be honest. 1186 wide might be a little bit big, so you might be looking at 610, 962, or maybe you want the big one. I'm going to go ahead and copy the 962, and that changes the embed code. I'm going to copy the embed code and head back over to Canvas. Now here's the Canvas page. I don't want to just paste the code onto the Canvas page because when I save that, then it's just going to have a bunch of code on the page. So there are two ways that I can put this code onto my page. The first one would be to head over to the HTML editor. From here, I can paste the code and click Save. And now I have the presentation on my page. Now, sometimes the HTML editor can look pretty complicated. So another approach that you can do, for example, if you already have a lot of content on your screen, is you can click on this link here, upload and record media, and here you have an embed tab where you can paste your code. Now the advantage to embedding your slideshow onto your content page, as opposed to just having a link or a file, is that it becomes part of your content page. To show this, I can put some boilerplate text above and below the slideshow. And I can also insert an image from my course. And so now my slide deck becomes part of the content of the course. Otherwise, I could go over to modules and I can create a file page. If I uploaded the PowerPoint into my Canvas files, then I can click on the files and add that as an item. But then the only thing that would be there is the slide deck. And this way I can put more content. I can put pictures, maybe a YouTube video, and the slide deck is part of that. So let's go ahead and save this and see what it looks like. Here I can see my content and I can navigate through the slideshow. Now you note that some of the animations are lost. Not everything is on the screen. Some of the morph transitions, for example, but you can see that at least the content, the, the general content of the slides are there. And it does keep some of the animations as well. And that's how you can get your PowerPoint slideshow into Canvas.